In today's video, we have to change the docking ropes on Boston, our very first boat. We've never done it before, so we've brought in Dean, the boat whisperer, to show us how it's done. Caleb ends up having to do the splits. This is not feeling good. And we have a father and son challenge to see who can do the best docking rope as we seek to live life eager. This is what the plan I'm guessing is. Dean's going to show us how to do one, yep. maybe two, um, and then you'll do one, I'll do one, and the boat whisperer will tell us which one's the best. <laughs> I'll do them because they're going to be hard, right? Like okay. The, the thimbles. You used to do these all the time on the muscle farm stuff, didn't you? On the muscle farm all the time. Yeah. Bit a hell of a lot bigger. Right. I'm about to say, a lot bigger than this little boat. Yeah, look there. A thimble. Thimble, is it? Thimble, okay. The rope fits in that groove. Yeah. And obviously we've got to make it tight enough so it... To hold in place so it doesn't fall back out. Yeah. When you're, when you're splicing like like this bit here, yeah. general rule of thumb is you got to go in and out three times. So get your tip before Caleb gets here. Oh, good, mate. Good. I love tips before Caleb gets here. Yeah. If you hold it flat in your hand like that, yeah. this one here is in the middle at the moment. Yes. So that's the one you got to start with. So the middle, start with. Yeah, mate. So just so you know, Caleb, just while you've been going off to the bathroom, I, as you can see by my hands, bravely stepped out on that and undid the eyelet. Yeah, the pin oh. now, if that comes undone, the pin's gonna drop in the water. Yep, gotcha. So put it the other way around. Yep. Just so you know, your eyelet is there. Yes. I don't have a beam. But you have two pontoons. All right, so that's our tail, that's... And we'll cut this here. Gotcha. So you're wrapping the tape around just to make it easier? Just to make it easier, because sometimes, see like this one's sort of splitting a bit. Yep. So this is probably, we'll have, we'll have to trim this back anyway, because like I said, three like tucks. Longer. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, end, middle, another end of the loop, yep. like that. That's how yep. we want to make it. So left one is sort of laid over, you yep. know what I mean? Yeah. And the middle one, if you can sort of see this one here yep. is on top. Yeah. I'll break his back. Middle one is through. Yep, so we've still got one going to the left, one going to the right, obviously the middle one. Left. So sort of, if you sort of roll it round one. Skip one. Yep. And the next one, right, roll it back round. This is where it's tricky. You've got to remember that you, you've been pointing it through that way. So this one sort of it looks opposite at the moment. Same All sort of yeah. even. Yeah. And then it's just from there you can just keep going. I don't know if you want to carry on. So you see which one that's sort of missing a hole. This one here. Because you skipped this one here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, damn, I mean. Are these still coming out even? Sort of. Yep. <laughs> yep. No, it's perfect like that. See, they're all coming out even. Yep. <laughs> nah, she's right. The knife's still coming out nice and even. Yep. Yep. Good. One more tuck, and that'll be four tucks. That's heaps. The rope's got a memory, so it's all, it's always wants to lay one way or the other way. Yeah. So if it, it doesn't feel right when you're handling it, it's more than likely wrong. Oh, you're in for you're in some trouble here, Rod. <laughs> you're you gonna need that in a minute. Why do I need a wrench? Yeah. We're moving. But that, I don't like this. We're moving. I don't oh. like this. Caleb, mate, what are you? <laughs> this is not feeling good. Okay, hang on, oh, hang on, still hang, on hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm coming towards you. I'm coming towards you. I'm coming towards you. I'm coming to now. That was a feeling I never wanted okay. in my fucking <laughs> life. We're there. We're there. <sighs> Would you like me to feel me coming back? <laughs> <laughs> he loves me really. Now that Dean had shown us all the basics, it was time for the rope challenge to begin. If you, yep. I don't know how tight you sort of want it. Like. Oh, we'd, we'd need it about that much. I'm going to be weaving that one, is that right? Yeah, there we go. It was actually not as hard as I thought it was once I like knew the part of the rope that I was skipping. Yeah. It, it, the, fir it no, the first part's hard, but as soon as you learn right. which rope you're skipping, it becomes a bit easier. Right. So, well, logically it. speaking from my memory, that's the top of the, uh, top of the rope, so therefore you've got to line those two up. From there, you have to start, but you have to unravel this. Yeah, unravel that to the uh, that. tape. Gotcha, so. Ah, gotcha. All right, so let's start again. 
Yeah. And then this center one, yeah. put that down there. Yeah. This center one goes through. Oh, this, yeah, is, off there. Ah, this is a lot more confusing than I thought it was going to be. So, um, does it go underneath? No pressure. No. No pressure. So it, it, it goes through there, doesn't it? It goes through there. And they are all even. Beautiful. Nice work. First rope. Yep. Thank a, you, Dave. plus. Thank you, mate. <laughs> then Dean yeah. do um, does it. <laughs> you want to just keep going until the tail's gone? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Attaching an A-plus rope for the first time. Would that be just like that? I'll go through. like. Um, so through it? Yep, like that, and then over the top, and then you've got like, no chance of it ever Like that? Off. Yep. And then, done. Yep. A-plus. Look at that, that is pretty good. <laughs> I'm proud of myself, mate. Thank you, Dean. All right, buddy, so now that is A+, plus, as by the Boat Whisperer down there. We've now got Caleb's, where we've actually done the idle already, and he's gonna be doing the end. So then, of course, naturally, Dean can judge that one. Just remember that this, it's probably a bit close, so you need yes. to probably pull it. To maybe the center line where that 56 is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll just take them up. And it's the same thing, like, you see, see if you pull the rope that, it makes it tight, but if you go like that, it opens it up. Opens it up. So make sure you, you wrap the tape around that way. And not in the water? Yeah, that's probably one of the preferences. That's a point, so in other words, you, you tighten it yeah, instead of, yeah. before you tape it, yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, just starting now. Dean's on the phone, so he's distracted. So it's Caleb by himself. Cool. So I'll go on it that way. That one. Put the slackless in there. I'll yeah. pull that out. Oh my god, Carl. Oh my <laughs> god. I have done this one on every single one of them. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so what you'd done, I think you'd gone under the rope that you'd laid. Yep. So just remember like this is the main main rope. The main cord. And it's got to go over the main cord, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't know, you can see, see how I've poked that one yeah. through. That's the first one. Yeah. So I always think, like, oh yeah, poked it through. So I always go next door. <laughs> and look, you know, this one here is coming out. He's going out. So this guy's going in next door. Like, he's into it. Got gotcha. Straight in. Okay. No. Can't wait for people to watch this and go, so this is how it's here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every kid's getting taught the way he should be. That's right. Go next door. You've already done the island already, mate. See, you don't muck around, do you? I'll give it a, an A plus. <laughs> <laughs> but like this is this is like this is three strand rope, and this yeah, is yeah. the easiest of eases. Like oh, you get it? you get like eleven strand, and it's, it's, it's splice it in. So like so yeah, like you can tell that's double and that's single. You can there's ways you can splice it in so it's like never like seamless. You know like yeah yeah. It's nearly time for judgment, but as you know, we can't judge it until it is connected to the boat. And what? And what, why do you do that, buddy? Just to just makes it make it, it pretty. Up, sets okay. It in. Gotcha. Right. Judgment call. First time. Carl's going to attach the boat. Oh, is it too short? No. Good. Maybe. Oh, mate, I think the measurement's good. Oh. Okay. You got to. I mean, look at that one. It looks nice and neat. There's a couple of loose bits in there. A bit of fraying. Ah, you know what that means? B, B, B. I won something. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, and I lost everything but, below. But, but I may have won. But regardless, mate. Well done. We have done you a know, rope each. Well, I learned how to do the splits today. Yes, so... you did. But we did a rope. Thanks, yeah, to uh, Dean's two yeah, but thanks, Dean. <laughs> so what are you showing us here, mate? Ah, uh, so oh yeah, just instead of having a, a spliced eye, something that you can adjust. Yeah. Depending on tide or weight of the boat. So pull it through. Yep, however you want. Probably about there, funny enough. Yeah. Yep. And then you, you just do the figure eight. I'm sure Caleb, you know how yep. to do this. Yep. Caleb knows how to do the figure eight, yep. Yep, and then you just do a, a twist. Yep. Yep, and half inch underneath. Yep. Just like that, and that's um, pretty secure. Pull out and tighten itself most of the time. Gotcha. But if you go if you're gonna leave the boat for a couple of weeks and you yeah. don't not gonna check on it, just you know, a couple of half inches around this main line as well. Yeah. And then uh just to lock it off, which is good. No, that's basically that'll never never come Never go anywhere. Yeah. And now the front ropes are done properly. It's amazing now. We're close enough. I'm hoping for Sam to be able to get on, get off the boat. Nice and easy. 
If you like Boston Whalers and you want to watch our very first video of our unexpected challenges, just go ahead and click here. If you want to see our very first sea voyage on Boston, just click here. And don't forget to hit subscribe, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next adventure.